So think of RPA as general automation. Okay. It'll work on a browser. It'll work on a desktop. It'll work on a website. It'll work. It's general. It can be used in just about all cases. Yeah. That's what makes it different. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, I want to talk about uh, the comp ranges, but let's talk about, mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you've mentioned in the past AI probably won't be replacing these jobs. I don't believe that. I don't, don't believe Why so. Why is no. that? Why do you think that? Now, I will say AI is growing in leaps and bounds every fucking day. So don't quote me on any of this. But as of right now, as of today, I see all of the major RPA players integrating AI into it, into them. How right? so? For example, again, I, I started by writing code. Like I went to college, I got a degree in software engineering and things like that. So I was writing code. So when I switched to RPA, it was easy because it's like it's I went from building homes, brick and mortar to pushing buttons. When you come to um, RPA, it, it, it's still, it, there's still the software development life cycle, meaning you still have to gather requirements. You still need to meet with the client. You still need to figure out what outcomes they want and things like that, right? Mm. 